Vincent van Gogh Biography Vincent van Gogh was born on 30 March 1853 in Zundert, a village in the southern province of North Brabant. Van Gogh received a fragmentary education. One year at the village school in Zundert, two years at a boarding school in Zevenbergen, and 18 months at a high school in Tilburg. His brother Theo was born on May 1, 1857. Theo's unfailing financial and emotional support allowed his brother to devote himself entirely to painting. In 1873 Goupils transferred Vincent to London, and two years later they moved him to Paris, where he lost all ambition to become an art dealer. Van Gogh then took a post as an assistant teacher in England, but, disappointed by the lack of prospects, returned to Holland at the end of the year. Van Gogh abandoned the lessons, and after brief training as an evangelist went to the Borinage coal mining region in the south of Belgium. Vincent, too, was at his wit's end, and after a long period of solitary soul-searching in the Borinage he decided to follow Theo's advice and become an artist. It was because of Theo's loyal support that Van Gogh later came to regard his oeuvre as the fruits of his brother's efforts on his behalf. A lengthy correspondence between the two brothers, which began in August 1872, would continue until the last days of Vincent's life. When Van Gogh decided to become an artist, no one, not even himself, suspected that he had extraordinary gifts. In order to prepare for his new career, Van Gogh went to Brussels to study at the academy, but left after only nine months. In April 1881, Van Gogh went to live with his parents in Eden in North Brabant, where he set himself the task of learning how to draw. Van Gogh made a few paintings while in The Hague, but drawing was his main passion. In September 1883 he decided to break off the relationship with Sian and follow in the footsteps of artists like Van Roppert and Mauve by trying his luck in the picturesque eastern province of Drenthe, which was fairly inaccessible in those days. After three months, however, a lack of both drawing materials and models forced him to leave, he decided once again to move in with his parents, who were now living in the North Brabant village of Noonan, near Eindhoven. In Noonan, Van Gogh first began painting regularly, modeling himself chiefly on the French painter Jean-Francois Millet, who was famous throughout Europe for his scenes of the harsh life of peasants. Van Gogh set to work with an iron will, depicting the life of the villagers and humble workers. At the end of 1884 he began painting and drawing a major series of heads and work roughened peasant hands in preparation for a large and complex figure piece that he was planning. In the summer of that year, he made a large number of drawings of the peasants working in the fields. In 1885, feeling the need for a proper artistic training, Van Gogh enrolled at the academy in Antwerp. In early 1886 Van Gogh went to live with his brother in Paris. At last, he was confronted with the full impact of modern art, especially with the recent work of the Impressionists Claude Monet, Paul Cézanne, Edouard Manet, and post-Impressionists Paul Gauguin. Within two years Van Gogh had come to terms with the latest development and had forged his own, highly personal style. At the beginning of 1888, Van Gogh, now a mature artist, went south to Arles in Provence, where he at last began to feel confident about his choice of career. It was typical of Van Gogh's faith in his own abilities that he decided not to try to sell any work yet but to wait until he had 30 top-class pictures with which he could announce himself to the world. He cherished the hope that a number of other artists would come and join him in Arles, where they could all live and work together. Van Gogh was unable to work where when suffering from bouts of his illness. If he felt well enough, though, he went out to draw and paint in the garden or surroundings of the asylum. In the year's closing months, he succeeded when two of his paintings were shown at the fifth exhibition of Société des Artistes Independents. Van Gogh also made many translations in color of prints by some of his favorite artists, like Millet and Eugène Delacroix. In January 1890, the critic Albert Aurier published an enthusiastic article about Van Gogh's work. The artist left Saint Remy in May 1890 and went north again to the rustic village of auvers sur oise near Paris. He nevertheless continued working hard during his two months in Auvers, producing dozens of paintings and drawings. On July 27, 1890, Vincent van Gogh was shot in the stomach and passed away in the early morning of July 29, 1890.
in his room at the Auberge Revo in the village of Auvers sur oise Theo, who had stored the bulk of Vincent's work in Paris, died six months later. His widow, Johanna van Gogh Bonger, returned to Holland with the collection, and dedicated herself to getting her brother-in-law the recognition he deserved. In 1914, with his fame assured, she published Vincent van Gogh's letters between the two brothers.